Hey everybody, this is Jonathan from AJ and Smart and welcome to another Design Sprint video. Are you sick of them yet? Maybe not because you're watching this. Although if you're sick of it, you know what? Um, there are other very funny videos on YouTube. I can suggest, what's, what's a funny thing? Search ASMR, it's very creepy. It's so creepy. Have you guys watched some yeah, ASMR creepy. stuff? Yeah. Don't watch it. She's on, she's on some of those videos. Some of those. She does them. Okay, ASMR, it's creepy, you should look it up. Okay, so in this video that you're about to watch, it's a clip from our online masterclass where myself and Jake Knapp, Jake Knapp is the author of the Design Sprint book, um, the inventor of the Design Sprint process, and we're gonna be talking about running design sprints for marketing campaigns. So not about digital products, not about physical products, campaigns. Does that work? What does it look like if it does work? Have a look at this lovely little clip here from the masterclass and you're gonna find out. See you later. All right, Jake. Question from Roger Federico Ryback. Okay. I'm not saying these names right. Um, can you, can you um, use the design sprint for marketing campaigns? Yeah, you definitely can. And actually, I like to use the sprint whenever possible for a marketing campaign, even if the main question is about the product itself. Because marketing is, I've learned over the years, and I didn't believe this when I first started building products, but getting the marketing right is actually crucial to getting the product right. You actually should, I think, figure out how you're gonna sell the product before you figure out what to build and before you commit. You wanna make sure customers are gonna care in the end. So many, many, many of the sprints that I've run, we end up you know, saying we're gonna figure out the product later. Let's figure out how to explain this product. Let's try to describe the key features and when we get customers looking at that marketing, let's see if they understand and let's see if they care. One thing I really like to do in a sprint that, that ends up focusing on marketing is to pit two or three ideas head to head in sort of a battle royale. And that way you can try different messages, you can try different ways of explaining it and see which one actually makes the most sense. So actually you said something there about you know testing the idea and um, something you mentioned a lot in our training boot camps is that when you're doing the map and when you're trying to choose the target area for the map, yeah. you should generally, if you're in doubt, you should choose the area where the sort of marketing work is actually being tested. Yeah. Why do you say that? Well, it, it, again, it's about, Why? The story. <laughs> it's about getting the story right. So I like to, when I'm facilitating, and it's at that moment when the decider is going to choose the target, I like to encourage them to look upstream, so kind of look to the left of the map of, of where maybe they might otherwise be inclined to, maybe looking to the left of the, the biggest, you know, if you look in the, the middle of the map, there's going to be, often for a company, there's a big, maybe a software challenge, a technology challenge, a big sort of logistics challenge. That's where the heart of the problem is. And so it's naturally people gravitate towards that because they're like, if this product's gonna work, we've gotta do this big hard thing. Yeah. And oftentimes that causes you to forget about the fact that in the end you have to explain this product to your customers. In the end, like if people don't get it, if it doesn't fit into their life or their work, they're not gonna use it. They're not gonna buy it. They're not gonna whatever, like they're not gonna adopt it. And so there's just a practical reason for looking to the left, for looking to, if you think, you know, left to right, people are discovering it, starting to use it for the first time and then adopting it. Like looking to the left gives you the chance to evaluate whether it makes sense. And that's super important. It also though can be a very efficient use of the time in the sprint. If you compare, you know, a prototype of, of an app, like let's say we're designing a new iPhone app, just for the simplest example. We could prototype how the app works in total detail and figure out all of those things. And we could test that with customers or some part of that. But if instead we, you know, in the sprint decided we're gonna focus on the marketing and we're gonna, we're gonna try two or three different approaches with different feature sets, then all of a sudden we don't have to figure out how each of the features works in total detail. We can just focus on like, how does this like, you know, a screen of the feature describing how it works. How does that, like, does that make sense to people? Does that seem interesting? If we get a few of those features and we're testing them head to head against each other, we really start to learn like what things we should build before we've gone to all the trouble of figuring out how they would work. So there's a lot of reasons why I like it, but it's not always the right thing to do. It's just well worth considering. Cool. So that's the end of this Q&A. See you later on in the course. See ya. Welcome back, I hope you enjoyed that little, oh, I sounded very official there. I sounded like one of those, you know, YouTubers who are like, oh, welcome back, my name is Byron. Yeah, I don't like that. I hope you enjoyed that little clip from the masterclass. If you want to get a one hour, 20 minute preview of the masterclass for free, um, there's a link down below so you can watch this lovely little live class and learn a lot more about the design sprint process. Really interested, especially if you're interested in selling it um, as a consultant or trying to 
convince people uh, to use the design sprint internally. Um, I hope you liked that video. If you did, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and in the comments below, you can ask us what other kinds of questions do you have about the design sprint. Thanks so much. Goodbye.